What's up, country crew? How are you? <laughs> You're crazy. Anyway, guys, happy Halloween, right? Yep. It is Monday, Halloween. We're trying to get caught up on a few odd ends, to tie a few loose ends. And so we can get back to the woods, do, hopefully do some more camping before the weather turns and some, a lot of deer hunting, squirrel hunting, all that stuff. So we're tying up the loose ends before winter, the outside stuff we got to do. That's what we're doing today. Be patient with us. We are testing some new mics. Hopefully y'all can hear us better and stuff like that. So we're playing with it. Hopefully this video turns out well with it because it's new technology to me and we're trying them, right? Yep. So anyway, today we got, <clears throat> what are we doing? Well, like you said, we're doing a bunch of odd and end stuff around the house. We got some bushes to trim and yeah. roses to trim. <laughs> Just a bunch of stuff like that. We got some trimming to do, some leaf blowing to get leaves away from the house. I don't blow them, if you can tell. I don't care what leaves are. I just get them away from the house to keep from a fire hazard. Uh, I don't want them bunched up right against the house. But we've got some roses and some stuff like that that needs to be trimmed back for the fall. We're not rose people, are we? No. We're not bush people, so we may ass it all up. But we've been putting it off and putting it off, and we got to get it done before winter. Yep. So y'all come along. Uh, I'm going to grab some stuff and get started. Hey guys, so we got the tools we're going to need. We don't have nothing fancy to trim these bushes with. I'm not going to waste the money on it because I don't give a shit honestly they just need to get under control so i'm not gonna waste our money on expensive tools that we're gonna only do this every once in a while because we're not big flyer people are we no we're garden people so we don't raise a big flyer garden so but i'll show you what we're working with they're kind of out of hand the leaves we gotta blow all them out and we've got these evergreens we trim back every year. So, we're gonna be trimming all this back. So, we'll see how it goes. I've been doing some reading, and that's scary. But, uh, and we've got this tree here that I may have to get a saw to actually cut out or something. I don't know, we'll see. Looks like we've cut it every year. And Anyway, so let's, let's just get started here. And what we're gonna do this with, a pair of these little pruning shears or whatever you wanna call them, and wear your gloves. From experience, these little bastards hurt. Yeah, they do. <laughs> now, as you can see, it, we, from what I read, you're supposed to wait until, I don't know, around Thanksgiving or so, but we plan on being hunting yeah. or something. So we're not gonna wait. We don't have a wheelbarrow. So I brought the next neck. I keep, I put my thumb in the wrong hole. We brought the next best thing, which is a bucket, a big bucket. We got a blue mineral tote. And I guess Em's gonna let me do the first trim in here. I'm gonna let you do all the trimming. I don't know what to do. <laughs> like I do. But. Basically, I'm probably gonna butcher the shit out of this, to be completely honest with you. This is not a how-to video for us. No. If you come to this, if you come to this to look to how to trim your roses, go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. Quite literally, because we don't know what the heck we're doing. I have no idea. But I know they're getting out of hand. And they're getting way too out of hand. And I'm getting attacked. Might be better to just pile them up out here for right now. There. I don't know. I don't have no idea. Don't know nothing about them. So y'all get to make me look like an ass. Or y'all get to laugh at me looking like an ass here on 
you too, which is everyday thing anyway. By the way, do you like our Halloween costumes? We're going as blue and M. Just kidding. She's not, guys. No. Uh, if y'all want, we thought about doing a Halloween video today, but decided against it. And if y'all wanted to see our costumes, go back to last night's live. Check it out. Yep. It's uh, it's pretty fun. Which we have fun all the time. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not gonna make y'all sit here and watch all this. What kind of what kind of person would I be? Let's put y'all on time lapse. I know you can't tell it, but let me get these out of the way. It didn't take us very long. I could do it if you don't want to. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I know they look like shit. Don't get me wrong, I know that, but you'd go by here mowing next spring or something like that and catching us and, you know, we're gonna blow all these leaves out and make it look better in here. But for now, we're gonna move on to the next one. This one was a real pain in the butt. This one, we trimmed a little bit off this summer, but it was reaching over every time you walked in out of the door, it grab a hold of you. I knew this fall had to be, it had to be dealt with, so. We're gonna deal with that. The pumpkins, we started trimming on the pump, or we did the pumpkins. We didn't film it because it's just a fun time with the kids. Filmed the pumpkins and uh, it, it got warm again and there went the pumpkins. So they've only been carved for what, less than a week? Yep. So yeah. Any advice on doing that? Keeping them longer. Maybe warm up, not taking effect. Anyway, guys, we're going to do this one just like we've done the rest of them knock them down and uh, get these done. We got some more to do around there and then we're gonna come back to these evergreens. Then we gotta trim some limbs and clean. yeah, we got a bunch to do, so. together to wait to trim these until spring that's when we usually trim these up i think last spring we didn't really do it because there was a bird nesting in one of these bushes i think it was this one so she had some babies in there we didn't want to bother them so we left them alone but this spring because the kids don't know how to leave them alone so i doubt they'll be nesting in here again we will be trimming these back so yeah we're gonna wait we're just gonna pick up on the broken lights. Yeah, we got a bunch of those. Don't know how they got turned, knocked over, pulled out. Only thing I can think of is we have a mold problem here, so. Which I know somebody said we could use coffee grounds. I just keep forgetting to throw them out the front door instead of just throwing them in the trash. We have a mold problem here. I'm guessing that's how the lights got knocked over. Mm -hmm. As you One's see, been broke. One broke. Just cheap old lights. We're gonna get rid of them. Somehow, I guess the windstorm blew a bird feeder that we, we don't use this door very often, so bird feeder up under there that we didn't notice. I guess we're gonna have to get rid of them pumpkins too before they go completely bad. Hopefully they'll last till Monday. Well, till today. Hopefully they'll last till today. <laughs> Cause after today we can get rid of them. We've made the, instead of using the tote, I think we're gonna go get the small little trailer, hook it up and bring it around here and just kind of throw all these on it instead of making like five trips and getting stabbed a bunch over to the burn pile. And then we're gonna have him run the leaf blower, blow this out, then we'll move on to the next project. And we still gotta go, we've gotta get these bird feeders cleaned up. 
and fill back up. And fill back up for winter. I'm gonna take that one down, that thing down. We need to get rid of, move them pots, get them cleaned out. A lot of little projects today, but it's just one of those things. Any proof that we're not flower growers or flower people is right there because those were supposed to be flowers and they didn't grow, so. Yeah. So we're gonna go get the truck hooked up, get the trailer up here, get this shit lined out so we can get going. All right, so. M's over here playing. M's over here playing. <laughs> Santa Claus. I guess since she's using both of them, I'll... I was just picking here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fine. I just had that, so I was going to take and get it. <laughs> oh, no. Here, you pick. You pick. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Puppy better move too. So yeah, just cleaning it up. Well, I'm fixing to clear out the leaves with the leaf blower, obviously, from in front of the house. He's got to start it. playing with his to new toy so all right guys one of the trees we got to trim you want to trim or you want me to trim, I don't care. I can trim, a few. I can trim a few. we're not going to run big saws or nothing because it's just these little branches y'all see that what am i getting i'm at? not worried about that these the ones that's going to knock your head off yeah Give me that. Well, then get up here and cut this thing. I'm not going to pick all these little bastards up. Uh-huh. Run that mouth there. And now it's biting you in the ass. Okay. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Well, what would you do to the cutters? I didn't do nothing to your cutters. 
tore him up. Did not. You broke it. You didn't cut it. Just do what you was doing to me. I don't care. I'll pick him up. I'll pick him up. I don't care. That one's dead. I'm not too good to. Guys, this is a uh, Bradford pear. And if y'all know anything, they're invasive species. And we really, I ought to just cut it down. It's already been broke a few times and fell down. We have another Bradford pear back there. But I don't know, I just kind of like this thing for some reason. I don't know why. But I like the other one too. It needs trimmed up, but I gotta run the saw to trim it up and may not happen today. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But just clearing up a few limbs. I know we should probably do this in the spring, but Honestly, if it dies, I mean, it's not gonna be a big loss. It's not like it's a giant shade tree or nothing. It's, it's grown quite a bit since we've moved into this place, hasn't it? Oh yeah. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna walk up here and investigate. Hopefully, these mics are still working, I don't know. I haven't figured them out quite yet, but Go up and investigate if we're gonna need the big saw. Or if this is a bike brad for pear. And we have a bunch of low-hanging limbs. We honestly might wait till spring to take care of it. Is what I'm kind of thinking. Cause I know there'll be new growth on this tree. And I say we're gonna have some, use the bigger saw and cut down some bigger branches. And I don't know, we may get a snow this winter to take care of it for us. So who knows? Hi, I got an idea. Did that work out for you? It worked out for both of us. If you think about it, are you getting stuck right now? No, I'm not. Where did this one come from? I don't know. That ain't, that ain't my department. Probably all over the farm. There goes a the rabbit. Well, good. I don't know if y'all saw that on camera, but the other day I was mowing the yard for the last time and found a bunch of rabbit fur over here. We thought we lost one of our rabbits, and we could have. I don't really know how many we got out here, but positive sign we still got one i'll be uh may set some box traps for them things if y'all would like to see that let me know in the comments i ain't had my old box traps out for years have a no you sure hadn't Sam wanted to show y'all something. So I'm gonna let her kind of talk through it. Well, of course, this is a walnut tree. Y'all can see that, y'all know walnuts. Anyway, our walnuts have put off quite a bumper crop of walnuts this year. We don't actually pick them up and do anything with them usually, except for die his traps, which we already did a video on that. But, you know what the old timers say? When the fruits and the nuts and stuff start putting off an abundance of nuts or fruits, gonna be a bad winter so you know hopefully that's not true but look at all those nuts there's one holding the camera they're all 
over the place. So I didn't mow over them. You know, maybe I should have picked them up before I mowed, but last mowing of the season, I'm done mowing. So, just mowed over them. Anyway, she wanted to tell, show y'all our nuts. Yep. And yeah, we probably should do something with them. See your nuts? Probably should do something with them. Well, I mean, it's too late now because they're all black. It's usually the first one to drop leaves and the last one to gain leaves every year. Yeah. And it put off more than it has since we've lived here, so. Yeah, it put off quite a few. They're all over the place. They're not only in our yard, they're up there in the They're in the pasture. pasture. And it's kind of a mess, but maybe we'll get a few squirrels in here grabbing a whole tub. We usually do every year. Oh yeah. All right, guys, well, gonna wrap up i guess uh the short little list of projects we had to finish up before winter we still got odd and end stuff putting garden holes up stuff like that. i ain't gonna show y'all that but uh with it coming into the winter months we've had a lot of questions about what we're gonna do for videos well we still got you know up until january for deer hunting february for small game hunting we doing some of that, some odd and end trapping here and there, I guess. Uh, we've got a lot of work going on in the house that we're gonna be doing, different things we're gonna be working on. Some shop projects. Um, just, we've got different things going on. The, just because the, the weather's changing, you know, we're still, what, two months out to winter? Mm -hmm even though winter can technically you know come early and stuff like that oh, yeah. but we're still got a couple months before winter i think you know the actual fall or winter date is like right before christmas but you know so i mean we're still gonna have some decent days like today and we're gonna get out and do some things and but content isn't gonna change much other than you know the gardening is gonna be is over with y'all seen what y'all seen Friday was the garden is put to bed and chores for the most part are going to start slamming down for outside, uh, you know, until springtime. But we will have some gardening things during February, March, getting seeds started, things like that, but not nothing out, you know, as far as gardening outside until probably April. Can't wait to try out or, our new seeds. Yeah, or March. Some seeds require March. We're gonna have new techniques in gardening. If uh, if y'all would like to see how we plant or are gonna be planting the garden, let us know in the comments and we will uh, implement that and maybe do a video on how we sit down and plan because we're actually probably within the next two or three weeks. Gonna start planting things out, especially with the way shipping has been going if we need something or something like that that way we can we can get it ordered and hopefully it gets here before gardening season next year yeah. em has something she wanted to talk to y'all about and then we'll close this video out <laughs> guys we are sending out christmas cards this year if you would like one um just send us your address or wherever you want us to send the card to in our email our email is lowercase lmcountryliving87 at gmail.com, which he'll probably put it. And it'll be right here. Yeah, right about there. And uh, yeah, just let us know by sending us an email over and we'll send, we'll be sending those out about the middle of November. Is that what we said? About middle of November. Yeah, about the middle of November and hopefully y'all get them before Christmas. Yeah. So just let us know. And uh, just something we're trying this year to kind of say thank y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, we're at like 41,000 now. Yeah. It's freaking amazing. At, awesome. 50, at 50,000, we're going to do some kind of giveaway, guys. Uh, at the rate we've been growing, we decided at 50,000, you know, be a good time to do a giveaway. Mm -hmm. So, like, share, and subscribe. You know, sharing is caring, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet and you're watching this, go ahead and hit that button. It don't cost you a dime. Uh, you know, if you like our content hit that button hit that little bell notification up there and that way you get all the all the newest videos uh we try to drop three times a week doesn't 
doesn't always happen because you know life happens but and we try, to. we try to do lives twice a week uh, right now it's a little hard because we are doing so much hunting and stuff like that that you know we're not always going to be able to do a live uh every week but i'd say in the next two or three weeks that the lives will go back to normal and we'll, we will work around them more but absolutely because we enjoy getting to know y'all and talking with y'all and everything like that you never know what we're going to talk about usually it's food <laughs> 90 percent of times food guys but guys we just want to close this video out and kind of give y'all update on what's going on what's coming what's to come uh you, you know this is tip right now it's typical october weather it's up in the low 70s and it's actually almost hot right now it's actually almost warm uh but we're gonna get a cool off we're starting to get a little rain so that's typical end of october beginning of november leaves are coming off the trees uh we've had a lot of wind i know some people wanted me to go on the hilltop and get a nice view of all the colors well there's still some out there and i will probably still try to do that uh I may even try to get some aerial photos of it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure yet. And try to put it in uh, the cooking video this Wednesday at the end of it or something to, you know, just one of them things for fall. Uh, but guys, we appreciate y'all so much. And uh, sorry for rambling on here at the end. <laughs> We're just kind of sitting down and, and relaxing a little bit. And we've got a few more odd and end things to close up today and then we're we're gonna be done uh yeah we got some other stuff to go and start to take care of so a lot of changes to come we're looking forward to it we're looking forward to another season gardening season with y'all um and j just because it's winter don't think that the videos are ending we're still gonna come up with something to do right right and you're staring off into space no i was looking at that pretty tree out there i'm sorry I wasn't really staring off into space. It's just that tree's really pretty right now for some reason. I guess it's because it's fall. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank y'all. Like, share, and subscribe. I think I just stole her line. Leave a comment down below, guys. There you go. Leave a comment. <laughs> we appreciate y'all. Yeah. And we will catch y'all on the next one. Yep. Don't forget about Christmas cards. If you want one, leave us there you go. an email. And we will be sending them out and looking forward to doing it. Yep. So... Bye, guys. We love y'all. Stay living country, guys. Yep. See ya.